Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a badge for your Roblox game. First thing you want to do is head over to the page where your project is. You want to click these settings, hit create badge. Now you can use this page here or you can click up here, which is what I'm going to do as this is where Roblox will be in the future. So once this loads up, you want to find your project and click on it. And it will give you a load of information about this project. Now what you want to do is click associated items and you'll find badges let's click create a badge option all on this one page now ideally for the image size you want something about 512 by 512 so I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image okay so once you've uploaded your image you'll be able to give it a name I'm going to call it thanks for playing and you'll be able to give it a description now once you've given it a description, you can click create badge and you'll see it here. It will take some time to be reviewed by Roblox, but in the meantime, we can program it. So let's click on this badge. Now up here in the URL, you're going to see a couple of numbers. The first number is your experience ID and the second number is your badge ID. You want to copy this second number. So that is control C or command C if you're on Mac. And now you're going to open back up your Roblox project. Now in here, I'm going to create a script under server script service. And what we want to do is just paste in this ID here for now. Now let's actually make a variable called badge ID. And we're going to set it equal to this number here. Okay, now I'm going to type game.players.playeradded colon connect function plr. Now this will call a function whenever a player joins the game. Player is a parameter of this function, meaning we will be able to modify anything related to the player within this function. Now the reason I'm doing this when the player joins the game is because I'm going to award this badge when the player joins the game. Now I'm going to add in a wait one, just so that the script has time to acknowledge the player has fully loaded in. And then we're going to need an if statement to make sure the player has a humanoid. Because otherwise that means they've not loaded in properly and we cannot give them the badge. We just get loads of errors. So to do that we'll say if player colon find first child humanoid. Now we're going to have to get the badge service. Which what that means is we're going to have to be able to award the badge by getting the service. So to do that all we've got to say is game colon get service badge service in brackets. And as you'll see it comes up here. And then we need to award the player that badge which is very easy. It's simply colon, award badge, and then we need player.user ID. So this will get the ID of the player. So remember, this is our badge ID up here. There will also be a user ID, which will look similar, and that will be used to find the player. And then comma, and simply here will be our badge ID. And this will award it. This will be it. Okay, so everyone, the reason this won't actually work is because we are looking for the humanoid inside of the player. The humanoid will be inside of the player.character, not the player. So let's make sure we fix that. And now if we file and publish to Roblox, we should be able to go to our game page. We'll see our badge at the bottom and we can hit play. And it should say bottom right, badge awarded. Now the reason it won't say for me that the badge has been awarded is because I've already got the badge. I tested it a, a minute ago just to make sure it all worked. So I've already actually got the badge, but it will say bottom right, you badge awarded. That is how you know that it works. So everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you did find it helpful. And I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Goodbye.